Using your own cells to cure future disease. The medical community is banking on patients, banking their blood. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf tells us about a local company helping those with terminal illnesses. For me, it was a no brainer. Dr. Maxwell Jen is an anti aging doctor in Southern California who jumped at the opportunity to bank his immune cells at age 35. We still encourage the exercise and eating well, don't smoke. But beyond that, are there additional steps that we can take to, you know, stave off, you know, death from cancer? Both he and his wife banked their immune cells, a procedure gaining in popularity after the FDA approved its use in treating six different blood cancers. According to the New England Journal of Medicine, it cures or partially cures patients. Patients 90% of the time, and there are more than a thousand clinical cancer trials ongoing. So, we can see in the next 10, 20 years, your own immune cell could be a strong weapon to fight against these life threatening diseases. Dr. Chris Su is on the front lines battling these diseases at his company called Thermogenesis in Rancho Cordova. It specializes in CAR T cell therapy. We are making some of the unique device to, to process the immune cells. The issue is when patients realize they need their own cells, it's too late. Because unfortunately, the cancer treatments such as chemo and radiation therapy destroys patients' own immune system. The company is helping make the process more accessible and affordable. The cost of a cup of coffee per week. So it's a simple blood draw? Normally we go to donate a blood unit. That means 450 mil. To store the immune cells, we only need 200 mil. Sue showed us how the immune cells are stored. Tank filled with liquid nitrogen. Saving the immune cells saves lives. Preventative medicine, more like a preventative cure, says Dr. Jen. While harvesting your CAR T cells, or your T cells in this case, are not going to prevent you from contracting cancer, you have taken initial steps in order to treat yourself should the unfortunate event ever arise. Well, recently, using a donor's HIV-resistant cells has proven to cure AIDS. The whole process is similar to cord blood banking. To learn more about it, you can go to our website, cbs13.com.